Welcome one and all to game three. We are here on Lost Temple to witness Wubwitz and Dead Zone's final beating. <laughs> Don't know who will win, but well, if you saw the finals on my live stream, which are gloriously untitled and have been up there for probably two months, <laughs> um, yeah, you could have seen it there who made it to the finals and who eventually won the tournament. Wubwitz here on the right side of Lost Temple, and we got Dead Zone on the top, and their overlords will find out e where each other are at, so we could be in for some interesting shenanigans, so we'll see if there's any 6-pull, uh, 8-pull, 10-pull uh, nonsense here, but uh, hopefully we don't. Both of them acknowledge their presence, and we'll see exactly what each other are up to. It looks like Woodwood's getting 9 overlord yet again, and Dead Zone gonna be doing the extractor trick, uh, but again that only pushes out a faster drone at the cost of more minerals, so in the long run it might be better, but not really going to happen. Both players will leave their overlords hanging overhead the top of their bases, their respective bases, and I think that's, you know, great. You want to see the periphery of the creep, as well as keep a, keep a look at your minerals to see exactly where um, they're at in terms of can they afford an expansion, um, are they spending everything? Are they comparable in drones to you? It's just little things like that. Um, Dead Zone, though, opting for a faster extractor, so we're going to see a Speedling build, uh, the same build so far that we've seen in every game so far. The wrinkle in the last game, of course, being that both players opting for Hydras over Mutas, and the Victor, Wubowitz, got Roaches to support those Hydras, which was a very smart move. We were saying that's a sneaky pool, but really that's not. I mean, it, most Zerg players put it behind the mineral line. It's just where it goes. If you put it out here, then it's susceptible to just snipes and stuff like that. Um, back here against Hellions, it's smart because it, it makes them go around. Um, but that being said, it, it makes your, your Zerglings go around as well. So it can go both ways. It uh, says <laughs> you made a sneaky guess. And actually, this gas is less preferable than this gas in terms of being able to be sniped and whatnot, but it does help insulate them against mutas, although they can come from any angle, so it doesn't really matter. And the, um, the chatter goes on. We do have four Zerglings going across the map for Wubowitz. Uh The Spinecrawler are not going to be nearly up in time, but we do have a comparable amount of Zerglings uh, coming out as well. And I'm, I'm assuming the uh, Queen will be nearly out or out by the time these Zerglings get there, as they are still slow. We do have another Roach Warren up uh, on the way for Wubowitz, and that's pretty smart. Um, looks like these Zerglings are going to be taking them out, playing smart, letting the Queen tank some of the damage, and even getting um, a very, very nice... Um Why is he saying you would? I don't get it. Well, this Overlord will go down. The Queen will have three kills. And I wish she got promoted and got additional health or something like that. But, unfortunately, that's not the case. Wubwood's still opting to uh, be supply-blocked and not get speed because he's going, again, roaches. We'll see exactly how this pans out for him. He does have pretty good saturation. I would say that he might want to consider stopping drone production and start thinking about an expansion now. He does have a spine crawler of his own. And he is now on supply blocks, so we'll see exactly what he's going to go, how many roaches he's going to put out. None, it turns out. Only, er, sorry, two. I was looking at Dead Zone, who is now morphing his lair, and that is pretty smart. He, unfortunately, he does not have the amount of drones his opponent has. And he says, good job wasting money on the spine crawler, because apparently he's not going to attack as he puts uh, one of his own down. And these overlords are kind of interestingly placed. They're like forming the iron curtain out in front of his base. And we do see an Evo chamber going down. Wubowitz favoring these uh, upgrades, which are extraordinarily good, especially if he opts for armor first, as that will absolutely slash the amount of damage that Zerglings do to their opposing thing, but their opponents. But uh, Lair is up. We do see that uh, Dead Zone does have a sufficient amount of um, units on the field. Looks like he was thinking. Uh, once he gets 200, he's going to be making some mutas, and I believe that is the right choice. And, uh, because his opponent, he does have his Evo Chamber up, and it looks like he is going to be putting down some Spore Crawlers, similar to the last game where he thought his opponent was teching to that. Instead, he got Hydras in the face. Um, but still, a lot of damage can be done. These Roaches are absolutely useless against mutas, 
And we do have some feeler zerglings going out to both towers, which I'm surprised neither player has really uh, set up shop at yet. But we do have some speedlings for dead zone, as well as a spire, like the most easily accessible snipeable spire I've ever seen. Spire, but still uh, not letting anything into his base, uh, ensuring that uh, only a suicide overlord scout will be able to pierce the veil, so to speak. And we do have some zerglings heading back, slowlings, of course. Speed nearly done. Still no layer out for Wubowitz. He does have the money for that and or an expansion, um, as he does have great, great saturation. And there we go. We do have that. We do have attacks coming first, although, again, um, having one innate armor, um, I would go with that. Because, as you see, um, certainly it's only do five damage. You slash that four with the base roast armor, three uh, with the upgrade to armor, and that's just great. And he's he's uh, convinced that his opponent is just going with straight up zerglings and bailings probably. Uh, but six mutas coming out for dead zone, and even though uh, he does have a queen as well as two spores, I think that unless these group up, um, the the mutas might be able to pick him off. But we do have a lair nearly done, so we'll see if uh, dead zone decides to attack with his six mutas uh, or not. He should have. He's got another one on the way, but we'll see if he decides to wait. I'm I'm hoping he goes to attack, because that would not only uh, kind of force dead zone or force Bubowitz in some more anti-air. Um, looks like he's preparing to take his ex his uh, third expansion right after his second expansion, um, or I guess his third base after his second base. And Bubowitz just lying here. Hydra's going to be coming on the way. I'm not sure if he scouted the um, the Spire. No, he has not. Both players kind of go, going on borrowed time, neither really knowing uh, after a pool what they, their opponent has done. Uh, this amount of roaches, you know, it doesn't... I don't know. I would have attacked by now if I was uh, dead zone. looks like he's content to get two more um, mutas out. Hopefully then he'll attack. But it looks like we're in it for the, the long haul. And every minute that Woodwood spends not getting an expansion is another minute he will be behind. It looks like he is going to the tower. He'll probably take one, bring it to the other tower. Um, Dead Zone getting a fair amount of Zerglings, just enough to kind of buy more time for these mutas. He is now um, getting his expansion nearly complete, and we'll see how many he transfers. Looks like about half. And we should see um, some more units in the air for him as well. And Woodwood's going to be getting the same um, type of uh, composition that he had last game. Roach Hydra with a little bit of Lings sprinkled in. And now we're finally seeing that um, Dead Zone will be moving out. These Hydras just now being spawned and sent down to the front lines. Of course, off creep, it will take a fair amount of time for them to get there and get back. We do have two more Zerglings heading off into the Abyss, probably uh, checking for an expansion that his opponent does have. And now, ooh, if this stops the uh, upgrade, that could be huge. Uh, even though one of these mutas will fall to the Queen, we do see that uh, he has not stopped. No! Yes! It looks like he did get the uh, upgrade canceled. Or did it finish? No, it got canceled, so... Uh, pretty good snipe there by... Uh, dead zone. We do have another hydrogen already started and already um, a fifth done. Wubwitz getting letting his minerals go up a little bit as his next expansion um, finishes, and we should be seeing a queen that was unfortunately supply blocked right before that. We do have some more drones being produced and switched over. Um, hopefully, these uh, this muta that is nearly dead can get transfused, as the queen does have enough for um, a, a larva injection and a transfuse. Um, unfortunately, Woodwitz does control this. Um, now, fortunately, no one controls it, as a whole flock of mutas going out across the map. He should just be able to freely pick off anything he really wants to. It looks like he's going a little bit crazy here with spore crawlers. He's got uh, a couple on the way, as well as a spine crawler moving down from the main. I'm not sure why the mutas are across the map. That does no one any good. But Dead Zone is taking his third base over at the gold, which he cleared out very early in the game. But Dead Zone uh, going to be connecting the two bases, 
he's getting Infestation Pit, which could be extraordinarily great. Y remember, these roaches still have a range of three. So that is exceedingly good for him, as he will be able to fungal, 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 and um, kill them with the mutas. Or, if he can get into it, um, fungal the hydras, and a third of their health is just gone. Which is exceedingly good. Um, Woobwood should transfer a fair amount of these drones, as not only is he getting less than optimal saturation, but um, also he just has to, you know not enough down here. But these mutas uh, lying pose to strike kind of at a bad position as uh, Dead Zone does see that his opponent does have a fair amount of mutas at the front. In the back, though, he's keeping about half of his mutas as well. So if I was Dead Zone, I would say, hey, he's got all hydras. Oh my goodness, transfer some of these drones as well. And I would make Banelings with speed able to absolutely... Um, decimate his opponent's hydras. Because the roach count isn't too high, he can probably just run through them. This, um, this overlord for dead zone, moving back, we'll ch check in on these links, see if they're checking for all sorts of expansions, looks like they will find what they're looking for, and be able to take out these um, poor, poor drones that just transferred. And we do have no movement from dead zone, no reaction quite yet. Um, he is sending them now. Um, it looks like in and out with no casualties, that's what you want to do uh, with a Zergling run by. Uh, now being chased by the second flight of Mutas, and the Muta count for Dead Zone <laughs> growing exponentially as he is uh, one up on bases. He should pr um, probably uh, creep up the bases here and put his um, units a little bit more defensively around that. Uh, but now the number of Hydras for Ubowitz is growing, growing, growing. It is up to 20. Actually, more than that now, because I just saw them spawn. Yes, 24 now. It's exceedingly large. Uh, the number of roaches will be able to protect the hydras through that first hit damage. Did Wubowitz get his upgrade for him? Yes, they did. And he's also been upgrading. He does have missile attacks level 2, as well as ground carapace level 1. So, winning the upgrade battle is akin to winning the war. And we'll see what Dead Zone has in store for Wubowitz, as he does have a very large amount of mutilists. Unfortunately, this amount of hydras will absolutely wreck them. Uh, the circlings, again, going to be uh, moving on across the map this time to try and equalize the bases. And Wubowitz says, what? Get some. Maybe, maybe those mutas moved in a little bit. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure why he is um, like that, but... He does tend to run his mouth a little bit. He is the uh, dreaded Xbox Live type of player. <laughs> but it looks like another drone transfer on in progress for Dead Zone. He does have his hive down, and he does have an Ultra Cavern coming around. And eh, um, Ultras do well against Hydras, as they do take around half their damage in fully upgraded armor. But. Uh, it looks like now Wubu is just trying to get some uh, information, maybe snipe a queen. We'll get the queen, but uh, not much more than that. Will the cost um, justify what he did there? Probably not, as another queen is going to be queued up after uh, transport tech. So we'll see, you know, if he's going to be moving out. He did see what his opponent had. These roaches slow will keep up with the hydras. And it looks like he is going to be starting his expansion down at his gold. Unfortunately, Dead Zone not making good use of his gold. Uh, one Muta standing vigilant above it with an upgrade. Very, very smart. Ultra Cavern on the way. We do have three uh, about to pop, as well as um, only one Evo Chamber down somewhere on the map. There, right in front of my face. And Dead Zone just kind of poking in with his Overlord. Fast. Uh, these mutilists did take out the spore crawler, or it was moved, I think it was taken out. And the Hydra's gonna be just standing there, overseer over.